I am so glad I have boycotted Magic for the last 6-7 months. Ever since I got a girlfriend, I have not bought a single Magic card, either a pack or... I've been offered a lot of really good collections, even a collection at like 30 to 40%. Now again, it was all ultra modern stuff, so it's not like the stuff is ever going to go up in price, right? It's only going to go down in price after the 100th reprint of the Mana Crypt, right? I mean, <laughs> what, what I want to do with another Mana Crypt. And some of the cards I can barely read. I was actually talking to one of my friends, and I was showing him, and he's an old school collector. He has a whole room of Swords to Plowshares from Alpha, Beta, and so on. That's the one card he loves collecting. And, yeah, I mean, the guy's, like, looking at this, and he's like, man, is this a real card? Aragon, like, so he does... He's kind of been out of the game for a few years, and he couldn't believe that was a real card. It just seemed like a card that you would print from your computer, right? The graphic design is very poor. The creativity is very poor. Now Hasbro is laying off 30% of their employees in a year. This is not insignificant. They're laying off 1,900 employees out of the 6,000 plus they have at the beginning of the year. And this is bad. Is bad news for Magic the Gathering. Uh, it's bad news for obviously these employees who have lost their jobs, right? And it's bad news for us. I mean, honestly, I'm trying to see what happens if Magic, if Magic can show me something uh, like a fantasy element, something that I can be like, wow, they brought Teresa Nielsen back, or something. Like, oh, cool! This feels like Richard Garfield made this set. I actually played a Richard Garfield uh, game. Uh, people don't know this. I'm people. Like, what do you do, Bubba? No, I'm still buying games, board games. We played uh, Bunny Kingdom by Richard Garfield. I had no idea it was by him. Again, I had no idea, and I, I bought the game without understanding it was Richard that Richard Garfield. Right? I looked at it. I was like, oh, whatever. Right? It was a fun game, like a board game you can buy for ten to forty dollars at your local game store. Have a blast playing it, and you know, and still still play it, and it's fun with friends. You know, and family and other stuff. Like, my um, sister is really excited to come over to play some of these board games. Because th her kids are getting to the age where they can read and stuff. My niece and nephew are getting to the age where they can read. Um, obviously, my girlfriend's a big fan of these board games. Maybe we'll, like, show you some of it. But a lot of this is really cool stuff. Uh, and I love it. Um, the board games are really, really cool to have. And they're not, they're not expensive. They're just, as Alpha Investment calls it. Board pieces, right? Just board pieces. Now, am I shocked that Hasbro is doing... Yeah, I'm I'm a little shocked. You know, it seems like every piece of news is bad news for this company. And, you know, like, I don't know what's going on with the CEO, Chris Cox. I don't know, Cynthia Williams uh, at the Wizard of the Coast. It seems like Magic is the only thing that is doing well. And they're going to milk the bejesus out of us. You know, I, I think... They they're going to the only thing that is making money is us. But think about this for a moment. Their Barbie figures, their Marvel Legends is that I think around twenty dollars. Star Wars around twenty dollars for like a tiny small figure. This is um too expensive for the quality, right? There are Asian like I collect anime figures and they're beautiful anime figures. Uh, even price figures that are much higher quality for less money. And anime obviously is a much bigger IP than Power Rangers. I don't even know Power... I thought Power Rangers is no longer airing. Am I correct to say that? Or is it a new season or something? I thought Power Rangers ended. I... Yeah, and then you look at this. My 7-year-old's Christmas list doesn't have a single action figure or any Hasbro-esque toys. It's all our supplies and tech this is crazy man i mean let, let's be honest magic the gathering they're gonna milk if you thought this year was bad in terms of secret layers and universe beyond you have no idea what's coming for you guys like this is what happens when the company spirals downwards it just cannot get all out of the death spiral it cannot get out of the death spiral it just keep when you're when you're laying off this many people what are you saying you're saying this is a shit place to work, my dude. You know, lay you off there in Christmas. Um, you know, it, it's the fans are alienated. 
um, they're pumping out too much stuff, and the, and it's stuff that no one wants. No one can possibly want this. I made a video, and pe people get so so upset. But those people don't play this game. Alpha Investment doesn't play this game. The, the the only fan members do not play this game. The Hot Tub Magic players they don't even know what the cards. Are. They I don't even think they can read half the time, right? Because of the steam from the hot tub. Guys, let me make this very clear. There are very few whales left, and the whales that are being left, they're just being just milked and they're fat, dried, you know, just being exploited for oil or whatever. And then there's no more whales left. Well, what's Hasbro going to do then? Uh, rely on the only fan members? Rely on the cosplay community? <laughs> you know, like, like I think about like how expensive. You know, I make a decent income. I own my own business, right? And I look at this box, and I'm like, wow, $300 for a collector box, ugh. $200 for, like, a play booster, ugh. Like, my dudes just don't buy this shit. I, I've never been happier in my life not buying stuff and spending money. We're buying Squishmallows and that type of stuff, which is fun, and it's very cheap. Like, you can get a Squishmallow of Hello Kitty for, like, 6 bucks at 5 Below. I don't know why it's $6 when the store is called 5 Below, but it is what it is. Like, for $6, guys, that's like nothing. That's like one play booster pack. <laughs> where, you, where you might get five rares, each rare being more 15 cents. I've opened enough of this shit to realize something obvious. That just because they make everything rare, it doesn't make anything expensive. Right? So, I think um, this is just the start. And, you know, I have videos, and they're very nasty videos against Wizards of the Coast. Um, but at the end of the day, it's go woke, go broke. They went woke and they go, went broke. People be losing their jobs. And again, it's not these people's fault, right? They, I go back to the story. They hired a very talented individual who was really hardworking, had great ideas. It was a non-binary African-American. They sat him down, stole his ideas, didn't bring him to meetings, kind of left him out of email chains and so on. This is according to his description, probably two, three, four years ago. Like, why would you hire him? And then the, uh, the answer is obvious, right? And he said the answer himself, the non-binary African-American said the answer was because they needed to fill a quota. And once that quota was filled, they didn't care about his ideas. They didn't care, care about his, her opinions, right? They didn't care. So when they're hiring 1,900 people to fill quotas and they're not listening to their ideas, they, some again, some of these 1,900 people will be very competent and very valuable and they will find jobs quite easily, in my opinion. And the majority of them will not because they were hired to fill a quota. They were not hired based on talent. They were not hired based on creativity. They're, I mean, look at the creativity of Hasbro products. Just to forget Magical. Look at the creativity of Hasbro products in general. No kid wants this shit, man. It's lame as F. Have you seen some of these toys Hasbro has been making? They're constantly on discount. Well, I mean, they, they go on discount like a week in because no one has any confidence in it. And now people be losing their jobs. Yeah. To the moon.